Hey guys, so I have been running iOS 14 on my personal iPhone 11 Pro Max now for about a week or a little bit longer. So today we're going to take a look at the app library and personally, Apple, when Apple announced this, I lost my mind. Like, I never thought Apple would do something like this, whether it be like with this or the widgets, like I just personally, I... While we kept hearing rumors about the widgets, I was, okay, like, cool, but I'm never going to use them. And then we heard the app library, and I was like, I'm probably never going to use it. I've used it so much. It's honestly funny. I've used it to clean up my home screen and make my home screen personally, like, what I need the most. And then I have my app drawer with everything I need. I love it. It's just I wish, and I love it, yes. But there are some things that Apple doesn't tell you, which does get pretty annoying. So in the app draw, it automatically makes categories for you, like based off of the type of apps. So now when you download a new app, and by default it goes to the app library instead of creating a new home screen page, unless you change that in settings. So I downloaded an app the other day, and I had no idea where it put it. It added it into my recently added folder, yes. But it didn't put it on my home screen, which I was fine with, but I wasn't able to find which folder they put it in. And I have a lot of folders in my app library, so I had to go and find which folder they put it in, which was pretty annoying. But what you can do is if, when you are downloading an app, it does tell you under the category that it's going to be. So if you go to the app store and search for Snapchat, it, and then you scroll down to the bottom, it will tell you under the category that it is social networking. So then if you go to your social networking folder, it will be right in that social networking folder right there in your app library. But other apps, it doesn't always tell you. And then I don't know how long they stay in recently added. Although I believe after a week or so, they do move out of recently added. Which, personally, I like that they do move out. But it's like I wish like when I'm downloading it, there would be a little pop-up saying it, it is added in recently added, and the social folder, or whatever folder it may be. And what also is great is that it sorts all your apps alphabetically for you, so you don't have to worry about it, and you can just quickly scroll through a letter and, boom, be right there, which is great, but it also just clutters them so much, in my opinion, as if you do have a lot of apps in one category, you only see seven icons on one folder page, which is annoying, but once you do learn and play with it after a while, it becomes one of the best tools, and personally, I picked up an iOS 13 device the other day, and I'm like, where's the app library, why is there no, like, widgets on the home screen, or whatever, because I've grown so accustomed to it, which is great, once you learn how to use it, you won't want to go back to not using it, which is great, and Apple has done a really good job at making sure it stays organized and neat. And also your folders will move around as you, depending on what you use more than the other. So then that's great as it allows you to quickly find the apps you need and the other apps that you can't find or the apps you are using more than you are, aren't are using, which is pretty cool. And then the suggestion folder is pretty cool because it does learn using Siri and AI that around 1 o'clock I like to check my photos or my calendar to see what I have on for my day. So it will just show up in my suggestion tabs, which is pretty cool that it just is right there and I can quickly find it. And any app that is on your home screen pages will show up in the app library unless you permanently delete it. So they are always there. They never disappear or they are never there anymore, which is pretty cool that they all stay simultaneously and agree on both sides. So it's not oh, well, why is this on my home screen but on the app library? The app library stores all of your applications, even if they are out on your home screen, which is pretty cool. So that's just my take on the app library after using it for about a week. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.